Virgo welcome back to my channel this is Kelly from House of Virgo if you're new smash that like button and subscribe if you're a returning visitor returning subscriber welcome back I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend um, if you have joined my channel welcome if you're a new member Anna Rodriguez Tiffany Conlon Tracy White great to have you guys as new members super super awesome so Virgo we're gonna take a look at the week ahead but we are also entering into a new moon eclipse yes so april 8th I, I believe it's sometime in the afternoon where this energy is going to or this this eclipse happens so if you're in the path of totality i hope you're able to see it super awesome so we're going to start with the new moon eclipse card here um so this is a time of expecting powerful change now this card i'm going to start with this and then go into the rest of the week um, but this card represents this new moon eclipse means if, if you're looking Virgo if you want affirmation that you can achieve your dreams and get the desired outcome in the situation that's any situation that's happening in your life at this time this is the time this is for, this is the time for this to happen it's a time of new beginnings and there's powerful energies at work and it's always with a new moon new moon is always when we set our attentions for what we are hoping to achieve uh, at least until the next new moon right so 30 days whatever the cycle is um, setting some kind of intention I feel like for the next 30 days for yourself um, I feel like you should be prepared you should prepare if there's something that you want different there's something that you want to change in your life set a goal 30 days stick to it for 30 days but be prepared because it could be quite a ride and it could feel uncomfortable right so whatever you're trying to maybe abstain from something or begin something new coming out of your comfort zone um, expect it to be a bit uncomfortable and feel a bit jarring but any new direction you take will almost always lead somewhere better than where you are at the moment virgo whatever is happening now is happening for a reason and you will appreciate it later on there's a new portal opening up and all you have to do is have the courage to forget about the past and move through it you're being put back on the right path there's nothing to fear so when we attune to the moon we set our intentions the message here is never mind the past life evolves every single day um, you're being shunted towards your life purpose whatever is happening now is happening for your highest good and this is an important turning point in your life right and these are always new moons are always like the most exciting astrological events that happen um, especially because we can start over we have the power to start every day is a brand new day you can always start at the beginning you can always start over um, so I feel like you know with this eclipse this is a powerful affirmation of a positive turnaround so whatever you're seeking to do Virgo set some kind of goal for yourself for the 30 days for the month i don't know it could be anything whatever maybe you want to just save more money maybe you you know want to stop talking to somebody maybe you want to go out and start a new routine of some sort or do something new whatever it is think about it right think about it it's for the week to start all right let's get into <laughs> there you go addiction codependent obsession possession controlling has a block restraint let's take a look at this week that just flew right out so Virgo if you've got like an addiction or something that you're trying to ascend from whatever that might be maybe you just want to do like 30 days start with 30 days okay ascending to paradise okay so Virgo ascension transcending obstacles learning expansion a new phase preparing for union and paradise happiness expansion again joy playfulness oneness enjoying each other i feel like a lot of you this week are going to be letting go of maybe some codependent behaviors or some obsessions possessions whichever are feelings of holding on to something too tightly letting go of some controlling behaviors removing any blocks or restraints okay and ascending into yeah pretty much paradise like getting to the place where you belong 
for sure. So that, I feel like this is just, this reading is just already coming out beautifully. So for this week, for this new moon eclipse, when you're done with this reading, if you haven't already, pick one thing, one thing that you really want to let go of that you, so you can start something new and work on that. Okay, so you've got the eight of wands. Okay, there's going to be some rapid action. Wow, powerful change. Oh my gosh. I feel like the universe has been trying to tell you, or spirits, God, someone's been trying to tell you, like, get on it and knock this, knock this, this bowling pin down, Virgo. <laughs> Swing it out of the park, Virgo. Swing something out of the park here. Make that sudden change. Just pretty much, it's like release. There's an awakening that's trying to happen in your life. And you, you might, maybe you don't want to wake up from some kind of a dream. You get this sudden insight with this, this new moon eclipse. Yes. And once you do, uh, things start moving. You know, I'm kind of looking at this and I just feel like, this feels like a message. Like, there's a war. You might have like a war going on in your head or some kind of conflict or someone, someone does. Some kind of internal conflict. Some kind of war going on here needing desperately to train change this this just feels to me like look at all these arrows coming at the tower trying to make a breakthrough this is what i feel like maybe you've been trying to just chip away at something break something down destroy something causing some upheaval so that you can like it's trying to get this insight i feel like you're just going to get hit with it this week like oh my god the light bulb is going to go off like, oh my God, I know what I need to do. I know what I need. Now I know what I need. It's just simplifying it. Even with this eight of wands, this is a card of manifestation, skill, breaking down the ego, absolute, making absolute decisions once and for all, final decision, breaking away from something. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. That's that possessive energy. Something's got a hold on you, Virgo. A person, place, or a thing has a hold on you. And it's hard for you to let something go. Uh, this is really calling. This is the this is the the next 30 days, you know, that well, whatever goal you set this week during this eclipse. It's time. I'm just hearing it's time to be done with this thing whatever it is that you have like be done with it virgo it's done some of you are trying to like give cpr to a horse that's been dead for like a month it's time to move here virgo movement make some progress willpower departure have that you got to get that courage where's your courage at virgo Willpower and control. Where's your courage? Yeah. See, I see, Virgo. I see you. You're just like... Well, first of all, the first thing I feel like you need to do is like... It feels like figure out where your boundaries are. Because you, you've been suffering. Look at this. This is the wounded warrior. You have been suffering. You need protection. And that you got to protect yourself by putting your boundaries up. You need some boundaries. Or you need to like revisit them. You know? Looks like something. I don't know. You're giving yourself a headache. You've been through something, Virgo. And it's. I just feel like this whole week is just about figuring out what you need to do. You know, like I always say, pick a lane, man. Just pick a lane and stay in that lane. Pick a lane and stick to it one day at a time. Stick to it for like the next, till the next new moon or however long you need to do it. Just self-discipline. Stick to something here because you need to get out of something. And, and I kind of feel like there might be some people in your life as well who have been on you about something for a long, for quite some time, maybe the past week, past eight months. Um, past eight years I've been on you about something trying to get it through something through your head trying to help you see something but you know that 
you see things when you're ready to see them. You know what I mean? But I feel like at some point, if something's been happening for too long, or even in just some kind of situation or cycle for so long, and you can't see your way through it, you may need to like throw a lifeline out there and maybe listen to somebody about something, you know? But the first step here, I feel like, is you got to get some boundaries up. I, what is this in regards to? I mean, it might just be something to do with codependency. Okay. Some family. You might have some family that you need to deal with that haven't been good or haven't been nice to you. Maybe there's like a, a, a youth, a youthful person or a youth in your life who's just been kind of, you know, restless. Could be a, a kid or um, a family member or, or maybe in some kind of relationship where there's this just not nice energy or somebody's been stalking you and some of you got to be like, or maybe you've been doing something with somebody else, watching somebody else and it's just taking a toll on you, right? Because this can be the card of spying. Hmm. Or being very curious about something and it's just you're not getting any answers to something. Yeah, here's a Ten of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So there could be some type of romantic connection here. Could be with a Cancer. Uh, it could be with a Gemini. Um, or um, a Pisces. It could be with a Scorpio. It could be with... Yeah. So... Let's see. I, I feel like you've got something pretty serious happening. Well, I mean, for some of you, that you really need to start taking a look at this week and start using this um, full moon eclipse, our new moon eclipse energy, because it's going to be powerful. You all know this is going to be a powerful eclipse energetically, for sure. I mean, you guys might even just get moved all on your own without without even trying. But listen, there's some kind of a relationship as well. There's something on the other side of this, an, another person, place, or thing. It's, it's happening to everybody. This is you're being called to free yourself this week, or take some kind of risk, like I said, or be spontaneous. Have some blind faith. Let's take a look. I don't know what it's going like. So. Let me see. What is that weird sound? Oh, my Siri goes off all the time when I use my Beats Buds. I don't understand it. Oh, look, some of you need to get away from something. Like, you just gotta run, like, get away. Like, you gotta, it feels like, um, get out of Dodge. <laughs> some of you gotta leave a job. You just gotta be done, you know? <clears throat> You got some trickery around you though you do there's some deception going around that you might be blind to that might be something that you need to take a look at you might be making excuses or rationalizing some bs from somebody you know um or gaslighting yourself i feel like it's i feel like they're saying they're saying call a spade a spade calling a spade a spade Okay, and I'm also hearing don't be passive. It's time to take action this week, at least this like to make a decision here. You know, you might have been in pause mode. You might have been just going with the flow, um, trying to see things differently than before. Um, maybe making a lot of sacrifices. I mean, you might have been waiting for something, um, or you might be waiting for motivation. I can tell you one thing about motivation. You don't find motivation. You could get inspired. But motivation comes after you do after you do the things. After you do the things. That's when motivation comes. Motivation. It, it, for, sometimes you can get motivated to do something. But it's like once you get the, build, start building the momentum. That momentum increases every day. And your, your motivation increases. And your motivation keeps changing in your incentives. But if you're just like uh, sitting around. And you're watching TV. And you haven't gotten up and you're not really moving or you're just too tired or whatever it's once you get moving is when you get moving 
you know so if you've been a little passive in your life about a person place or a thing it's time to like get going it's time to get up Virgo put your boundaries up and it's time like you need a little impulsive energy here just they're just showing me that Nike symbol just do it like yo stop don't overthink it don't overthink it just do it whatever you need to do forget about the past don't even think about it don't think about outcomes because it's just impossible to like you, you just can't sit and waste all your time about oh, how is this going to work out because then you're just strategizing way too much sometimes you just got to get up and do something here and i feel like with this new moon it's time i don't know what you got going on you got aquarius energy there i don't know what's going on but it's time for you to get up and go you need to fight you got some competition maybe some conflict you can't back down you can't be pausing you can't be waiting anymore you just got to get up and go here's the king of wands and king of wands takes that very bold energy king of wands overcomes any and all problems and challenges they're up for the challenge they're up for the fight and the king of wands is the winner 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 chicken dinner maybe this is something to do with your career a lot of competition in career um changing jobs or being more of a visionary seeing the big picture but the king of wands is a leader yeah uh, maybe there's a mentor maybe you're doing some kind of competition and you have a coach coach might be helping you you know break on through to the other side here so you can't be defeated so you don't you know death is behind the king of wands there is no defeat in the king of wands mind so that's either an energy that you need to take you know you can't go into the you can't go into the get into the ring with a defeated mindset you have to get in with a winning mindset and that's just when i say ring that's just symbolic of whatever you're trying to do here you know the king of wands does not look at the death and it doesn't have a defeated mindset king of wands is like i can handle it i'm good i'm gonna win i got this whatever this thing is that's got you that you need to ascend from all right so you got the four of cups here uh, okay they just said you need to disconnect from somebody it's too much of a, a burden here a struggle it's hard work it's time to go off on your own that's what i'm hearing yep look at that there's your virgo card do a little soul searching but you got to stop carrying the weight and the burden of some kind of relationship with someone who's indifferent to you or to the relationship who's just showing apathy like uh eh, or feel if you're involved with someone who's disconnected um like they're just maybe emotionally unavailable or disconnected and you're carrying the weight of that relationship i feel like now listen that's done here that's what they're saying be done with that okay that's too much hard work like you're you're carrying the burden on your shoulder all by yourself you're doing everything and and in the end you're left by yourself here you're left alone what is that what are you doing there yep it's time virgo it's time for a new chapter i'm telling you you know look at the 21 so what do they say if you can do 21 days it takes 21 days to change a habit so set your intentions this week virgo with this new moon eclipse you got give yourself at least the three weeks to start you know if you need to like i don't know set a timer a goal i'm going to do this for 21 days by the time you hit the 21 days you've already begun forming this habit you become so used to it i don't know what it is getting rid of some kind of addiction or behavioral things or uh, people places whatever it is it's time to ascend look paradise is on the other side of it virgo right here look at this paradise is on the other side of all these problems and maybe even somebody new you know but or maybe you're involved with um, a particular person in your life or you can't enjoy other people maybe they don't let you or you 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 can't be happy because of something that's holding you down or holding you back paradise is on the other side the abundance is on the other side of this door you just have to walk through the door you have to like you got to make the trek is what i'm hearing and some of you need to like do the cutoff you know this 
what I was saying about the conflict and the King of Wands, and I feel like that's an energy for you, going in with a winning mindset, this is what the Five of Swords is. The Five of Swords is like winning at all costs. You know, you got it's okay, I'm just going to say this, and this is counterintuitive to whatever we always talk about, but Virgo, I feel like you need to be the one who's the bully now. <laughs> because I feel like you've been getting bullied. If you've been getting bullied, the only way to handle bullies is to bully them back. I know. Everybody's like, well, no, just walk away. Well, that's bullying back by, by walking away. That's also being a bully. Do you know what I mean? I'm not talking about you got to get in and, and beat the crap out of people. No, walking away is probably the strongest thing. It is. It leaves a mark on people. Because walking away, like if you're in the ring, um, and, and when I'm saying in the ring, I'm, I mean, unless you're an athlete and you're actually boxing or wrestling or something, then yeah, you got to you got to put hands on. But we're talking figuratively. Sometimes the strongest thing you can do is stand up for yourself and just say, nah, you ain't even worth the fight. This isn't even worth it. Just me being here and getting in the ring with you, you should be lucky I even gave you the time of day. <laughs> you know? But I feel like the message here, because the Five of Swords is like that. The, the Five of Swords is like, how do they say it like in a football game when it's like a shutout, you know? Is that the word? When like one team is just scoring after score after score after score and the other team barely even gets halfway or even to the quarter mark they ju it's just you got to kind of get this mindset i feel like if you're dealing with some kind of an addiction or you've got something you know you s the way you win is by surrendering right and that's a form of bullying that's a form of saying i'm not taking this shit anymore do you know what i mean whatever it is it it's like getting your confidence back and saying to your and like putting it out there like you know i'm rubber your glue <laughs> whatever you say bounces off me and goes back to you like it's kind of like like that like even if even making a decision to no longer engage or to just not engage at all is a form of dealing with the conflicts like that that's probably the best way if you're dealing with any person place or a thing that's trying to have a hold on you not engaging you're automatically you're automatically gonna win okay so i don't know what your situation is but whatever it is that that is what you need to do i mean if there's a relationship that you have with someone um where there is some type of conflict here rivalry and because this can be a very physical card uh don't fight like in any kind of physical way with anybody right um and even with this king of wands king of wands it's kind of like it's like a coach you know the coach doesn't get in the ring the coach just advises others how to fight but the coach does not get his knuckles bruised up because he's too he's too good for that he's already been he's been through the circus and he's seen the puppet show and now he's on the outside and and he even kind of is like you know what y'all can go fight your own battles i'm staying out of this one that's how you win okay so i don't know i feel like that's how you stay in paradise by not engaging all right that's interesting so whether this is a love relationship and i know i'm only speaking to um a certain percentage of you if it's a love relationship that's just not going anywhere if it's a job situation if it's drama at work if it's family um i feel like whatever this is there there's something here that you gotta you gotta send from for sure you have to ascend from something here. Some of you just need to start breadcrumbing and stop giving all your attention to just one particular thing. Take a long-term view. Persevere, Virgo. Invest in only things that people places and things that are going to give you sustainable results don't waste your energy or your time anywhere else anywhere else because that's your energy you're spending energy is precious time effort and energy are extremely precious all right there's your card virgo you're nurturing practical working uh, a worker you're you 
have very deep senses and you're very analytical and you're very aware but you're you're very strong virgo let's see one more okay you can manifest whatever you set your sights on whatever you set your sights on whatever you want to do like i always say you can do it you can move from where you are you are not a tree virgo if you are staying where you are if you are staying where you are it's because you're choosing to and i know that maybe there are certain reasons that you have to stay in this particular situation right now and that's fine but if you're working towards focusing on changing your circumstances that's still a good thing if you if you got a plan okay but if you're in a situation that isn't bringing benefit like the cost versus benefit it's too much of a cost to pay and there's no benefit really for you it would be good for you to start looking elsewhere okay that's what this new moon eclipse is about it's to start looking elsewhere if you're not doing that and you're aware that you're not getting anything out of something and you're not making or taking steps to move yourself from that situation person place or thing then you're choosing to be a victim and if you're choosing to be a victim what are you happy with that maybe you are i know there's some people that you know i'm not saying virgos but there are some people in life that prefer that <laughs> that role they get, they get something out of it but it's, it's totally up to you like you're not you're not if you're choosing to stay you're not you're not a victim not really all right let's take a look and see your chinese sign all right ear of the horse if you're a victim you're a victim of your own your own uh, decisions all right ear of the pig so i have to like be careful i don't want to trigger anybody here okay because i know i'm talking to a lot of people i'm not trying to victim shame i'm not and i know that maybe this reading got a little rough but i feel like if you want to stay where you are because that's the best that you can arrive at now that's fine nobody's telling you i'm certainly not saying all right well you're a bad person and you need to do something about this now or just hopeless i absolutely do not feel that way at all i feel like with the new moon eclipse it's time to start thinking about what else you can do where else you can go how where how it's time to start thinking about what does paradise look like for you and yes it's attainable don't question it but how can you get there even if it takes even if you need to stay where you are for another five years it's fine but if you start putting something together and start thinking about how something could look for you if you're able to envision how life how much better something could be for you use this new moon eclipse to start thinking about that that's all that i'm saying okay Ooh, wait a minute wait a minute also if you want to get a personal reading the link is in my description box below it's called it's my link tree link just click on that that will take you directly wherever it says personal readings okay we got year of the snake year of the rat year of the horse again year of the rat again year of the dog year of the ox okay so if that's your Chinese sign, great. If not, don't worry about it. It means it's not your reading. Let's get a couple other messages here. I want to do messages of love. And then we're going to get into the charms. Okay. Any other messages for Virgo? <laughs> Did you see how these just flipped out, you guys? Seriously. Release the obsession, Virgo. Radical acceptance and surrender is what helps you let go oh i don't know how to let go i don't know how to do this this is the answer this is the antidote if you told me that you had a, a runny nose and you were sneezing i would tell you go get some allergy medicine so you will feel better now you're in a situation where you might be gripped by something could be obsessive thoughts but it, you're gripped by something the only way to let go is to accept that that's where you are 
and then surrender. That's how you let go. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to pay $1,000 a week to go to therapy. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do this. You don't have to get some kind of magic spells or pills or, you know, go run a marathon or, you know, all you have to do is accept that this is what you're doing and this is where you are and then surrender to it. Just be like, I have no power over this. I am, I absolutely have no power over it. You got to surrender and then it releases you more so than you release it. When you surrender to it, it actually releases you. It, you become released from the, the, what is it? The grip of whatever this thing is, whatever this situation is, that's part of this process of this new moon eclipse of letting go. You know, like they always say in AA, the first steps to getting sober are getting off anything is surrendering to it if you try to control it that that doesn't work because it will control you the only way to get rid or to let go of something that is just completely taking over your life is to surrender to it and just be like you know what i am powerless over people places and things i can't control anyone the only person i can control is myself and I can control my thoughts after they arrive and what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to dwell on them or I'm just going to let them go. Right? So, okay. Don't dismiss any red flags here. Yeah, there are some red flags. That's why this new moon eclipse is super, super, super important. Not just for you, Virgo, but for the world. Okay, so you have to ask yourself, is this thing that's holding you, or that has its hold on you, does, does it align with your values and your morals? Wow. And you have to go slow. Take time to get to know each other. So if you've got somebody in your life that you're talking to right now, take your time with that person. No rush. Anybody who's, if this is a romantic relationship, anyone who is willing uh, or has some kind of interest in you, to whatever degree, will let you take your time anybody who rushes you is selfish so don't don't be bothered with people if anybody tries to rush you or force you to do something um you know you have to put up that boundary right and anybody who tries to cross that boundary that's when you might need to rethink something uh, people place or thing that is just being toxic in your life okay so you've got July, I feel like July 12th. Okay, just do it, Virgo. Uh, uh, let's see, September 19th. Um, someone is 58. Got the letter A and the letter O. Somebody left a comment in my in the comment section under my video. Um, they said, let's see, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little shout out here for for your comment, which wasn't actually a great comment. Um, or maybe I got rid of it. I might've got rid of it, but they asked me, they said I needed to make my, my readings a little bit um, shorter. Um, they felt like it was too long or something along those lines. I can't remember what exactly it was because I think I just deleted the comment. But if you are listening and if the readings are long, too long for you, you can actually um, click off and get the F out of here. <laughs> or you can speed up the speed when you're listening to the reading. Like 2x, I think you can speed it up or something like that. Um, like I'm not going to, could you imagine if I adjusted my readings for every single, I got 40,000 subscribers. I'd be changing every single day. No, I'm here. You came to me. This is what I have going on. These are my boundaries. You have to adjust to me. If you don't want to adjust to me, then you can go listen to another tower reader, but don't come in here trying to tell me how I must change to make you happy. And that goes all the way across the board. Um, if, 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 if someone is not happy with who you are, Virgo, if someone is not happy with how you live your life or what you're doing, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what other people think. It matters what you think. Your path to happiness is what's important, 
right? Because if mommy ain't happy, ain't nobody happy, right? And you have to put those boundaries up with people. So when people leave me comments just here on my channel, like, well, you need to change this and you need to change that. It's too long for me. And then, and then I'm just like, F, just go. Like, no, I'm not changing anything. If you have a suggestion, or you want to give some feedback how it can improve the channel or something like that, that's fine. But when it's when you start telling me how it's all about you and you're trying to change me, I, I'm the middle finger coming right at you. I tell you right now, because I ain't got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Catch me outside. How about that? I'm not listening to that BS. So, you know, and I feel like the reason I'm saying that is because it goes all across the board. If you don't like it, you can leave. That's how I, that's, there you go. Okay. Next. All right. We have the letter W and someone is 32. 1972, 1987, 1981. Okay, I'm not going to pull them all because I'm already at 38 minutes and tired. Really tired today. Oh, we've got an apple. So, you know, we had that big, I was just looking at the big apple maybe here in New York. We had that big earthquake here in Jersey. Um, that was pretty cool, y'all. Uh, and I did, I left a post, a community post. I remember I mentioned a big earthquake or some kind of earthquake. Now, I know there was one in Taiwan, but also um, I completely, like, I, I think I said it was an unusual placed earthquake or something like that, which for New Jersey, um, we don't get earthquakes out here. I mean, we get them, but they're very minimal. And it's, I think it's been 200 years since we had that size. So, it vibrates at a very long distance when we get earthquakes here on the East Coast, as most of you know. Um, but if you were in New York, um, you, you probably felt it all the way up to Massachusetts or all the way down south. But I'm just hearing now, as far as this earthquake goes, um, with this seahorse, um, I do feel like there will be another one, okay? I don't know when, but I do feel like there will be another one. It's going to be real close to New York. And there's something here to do with the sea. Something to do with the sea. And I don't know exactly. The sea is going to come in. That's what they're saying. So maybe it'll be outside. Maybe it'll be in the ocean. But the sea is going to come back in like with the speed of like with horsepower that's what i'm that's what i'm feeling bookmark note this um reading um i feel like the message here and I'm, I'm not trying to scare you i just want you to be prepared for some some kind of some kind of something and and uh, i don't even know if it's going to be an earthquake but some kind of shift or change um um, they're saying something to do with the ocean and somewhere near York, New York, okay? Um, all right, let me just get one more. Oh, gosh, I can't even believe it. So I guess another seahorse again. So, hmm, well, it could just be maybe you like apples. Maybe you're eating an apple. Or maybe you have seahorses. Look, this is like big seahorse, little seahorse. That's really cute. I don't think I've pulled seahorses here on my channel. But, uh, yeah, where do seahorses live? I don't know. I don't even know. I mean, like, what parts of the ocean? Are they in all of the ocean? Like, I don't, I, I don't feel like it's really about a seahorse. It feels something like uh, the, the, the sea is going to come in like a, like a bunch of wild horses. Okay, well, doom scrolling here, <laughs> doomsday prophecy. No, it's not a doomsday kind of thing. If you're up in that area, which, you know, I'm talking about me too, because I'm close there. Um, just don't get scared. Just prepare. Just always keep, and you should anyway, always be prepared for anything that happens. Always. Now, it could be just some of you are going to be deciding to relocate somewhere near the sea. That could be part of your transition and your change. You're going to move. Maybe that will be somewhere where there's an apple orchard close to there, or it could be somewhere, it's along the coast, it could also be somewhere in New York, or somewhere out of New York, okay, which would be on the East Coast, right, um, if you're in the United States, even if you're in Europe, and you're coming over here, welcome, could be doing that, but um, I'm going to leave that there, 
yeah i'm gonna leave this whole reading there now tomorrow you know i'm i'm gonna leave tomorrow uh, monday evening tentative for a reading because something's just vibrating in me <laughs> you know energetically just to kind of i'm not going to confirm tomorrow's reading so if you are subscribed to the channel tick the notification bell and then make sure you check the all button with the notification bell not personalized but all that way you'll get all notifications and if you don't get notifications make sure that you have it enabled in your phone that you have it toggled so that you can receive notification you could click the button on youtube but if you don't have it enabled in your phone if you use your phone to watch you won't get notified okay um so yeah that's gonna be it yeah so um we'll we'll leave monday for tentative tentatively um and we'll see how it goes hopefully everything will go smooth the last time i remember we had like this big doomsday thing with you know the conspiracies going around with the eclipse it's just crazy it was a 2012 end of the world do you remember that the mayan calendar 2012 and then before that was this stupid y2k and everybody was i think i was like 30 and everybody was like oh my god the world's the y2k we're not gonna wake up the world's gonna be over it's gonna end and then we woke up on january 1st and we're like oh okay everything's good <laughs> so this is probably another one of those but anyway we'll just leave it right so i hope you guys have a great night i hope you have a great day enjoy the solar eclipse if you are able to see it lucky you i know there's going to be a lot of um i don't know cloudiness and like 95 percent of the people but some people might be leaving the country to go see it but anyway you'll be able to see it on tv right so or I guess you might, some of you might just see a partial eclipse. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So enjoy it. Have fun. Love you guys. I'll see you all back here hopefully tomorrow. If not, I'll see you Tuesday. Okay. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.